the topics is online business 101 um in this topic, I will explain the pillars. Ano ang kailangan gawin para mag-start ng isang business, ang online business. Online business uh, is uh, similar to a typical physical store. Pareho lang po siya, except for these four main pillars. So, kapag online business, kailangan first merong electronic store. Um, electronic store, ito po yung nakikita na nasa website, may app, or pwedeng marketplaces, just Lazada. Yeah. Uh, second, kailangan uh, merong kang way to collect um, money electronically without the physical interaction. So that is payments, payment gateways in the language of e-commerce. Third is logistics. Um, in a typical physical store, yung customer ang nagpupunta sa tindahan. Uh, sa e-commerce or online business, yung binili ng customer, i-deliver sa kanila. So you need someone or uh, some company like third-party logistics to deliver the products from your uh, store, from your inventory, to the house doorstep of your customers. And fourth is digital marketing. So uh, since ang tinatarget dito ay uh, Filipinos na, na may physical or, or may online profiles or lagging nasa internet, uh, you need something to promote your business electronically, so via digital marketing. Uh, later, we discuss that. So first, electronic store. Uh, maraming paraan para magkaroon ng electronic store. The, the typical, uh, the stereotype is everyone should have a website, right? Um, yes, that is one electronic store uh, option that you can have. Um, especially kapag marunong kayo mag-program or mag, kayo mag web design, you can create an own e-commerce store or online business store. But this is very, fairly difficult to start with because, uh, one, you need to have an expertise in programming language uh, in uh, website development. Uh, and then, uh, medyo mahirap siya kasi uh, you need to pay for all the services. Kailangan nyo ng ser online server. Kailangan nyo bumili ng domain. Domain is the .com, uh, yung address sa mga website. And then, you, ne you need to pay for software uh, for, for the online store. Medyo difficult and then costly. Especially for uh, new businesses or for, or new entrepreneurs, na mag-start palang sa online business. Um, second, there is an outsourced option. Uh, why outsourced? Uh, Mayro mga websites here in the Philippines and abroad that uh, you just pay them a certain fee, and then they would uh, host your website, and then yung mga options don. It's like drag and drop. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-code. So, uh, medyo mas madali, but you need to pay monthly. The, uh, the commitment is to pay monthly for outsource. The perfect example of this uh, outsource option is Shopify. Shopify.com, if you know that. Uh, you just set an account. May trial siya, two months yata, two months. And then you need to pay uh, if you will be... Uh, continuing the the service around 700 per month ang payment sa kanila. So, hindi nyo na kailangan bumili ng server, hindi nyo kailangan bumili ng, ng mga software, nandun na siya lahat. I just need to uh, set yung mga options, settings, and then meron silang customer service that you can ask. So, yan. Shopify. Later, tingnan natin yung demo. Third is... Uh, for newbies, pwede naman via marketplaces. What are marketplaces? These are Lazada, Shopee, Carousel, uh, OLX. So you don't need to create 
a website. You need don't you know you don't need to create an online store that you own. You just need to enlist on this uh, services. Yeah, Lazada. Um, Lazada, I think, kailangan meron kang business registration. Uh, they would need your um, certificate of registration for you to be accepted as a merchant. And then sa Shopee, I pwede naman yara informal. So you just create an account there, post your products, the pictures, and then set the price, and then promote the links. And then there is a new player, Carousel. Uh, they now own OLX. So similar siya sa Shopee, meron siya mobile app, meron website. And list there, uh, create a merchant account, and then sell the products you would like to sell. So ganun lang siya kasimple. And the fourth one, fourth, fourth option for, for electronic store is social. So uh, marami tayo nakikita ng ganito. Uh, FB page, Instagram page. Uh, actually, I have a student sa University of the Philippines, Open University. Uh, she's doing big now. Uh, she, she sells fashion items uh, for uh, usually female. So she's selling around 1,000 to 2,000 items per week. Uh, the, shop, the shop is called uh, HTP Clothing or Half the Price Clothing. Uh, originally uh, using Instagram as their electronic store. So again, uh, malaki man or malit yung operations, you can use social uh, media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Though ang risk lang is uh, you don't control the policies of these big applications, the Instagram, the Facebook. So uh, kapag may changes sila, mag adjust it kayo. So, but it's free. Uh, that's a good option. Okay, so that's the first pillar of electronic commerce or online business. So, electronic store. Kailangan meron tayo uh, way to showcase our products. So, uh, the options, owned, outsourced, marketplace, or social. So, second pillar na kailangan yung magawa para magkaroon ng online business is payments. Kailangan makakuha tayo ng payments from our customers electronically. So, kailangan walang physical interaction. Um, the, the options here in the Philippines available is first, credit cards. Credit cards are the most secure yet it's the, uh, it's the most costly option because you need to pay for the terminal and then you need to pay for the processing fee and have Set up fees with banks. Medyo mahal siya. 100,000 and up. So, for big businesses lang talaga siya. Big e-commerce businesses. Uh, but, you can try deposits. Bank deposits. Um, so, kapag may bumili, just uh, have them deposit the amount to your bank from their bank. Ngayon, merong option. Tinatawag, Instapay. So, hindi na nagmamatter if ang client or a customer nyo, for example, BPI, ang credit ng bank nila, and kayo, meron kayong BDO, meron ng interbank uh, connectivity ngayon through Instapay. So, around 15 pesos. Iba-iba siya kada bank. So, 15 to 50 pesos per transfer. But you can now, uh, uh, yung hassle na magkakaiba yung bank, na, na wala na because of uh, the Instapay option. So, okay. Okay na yung uh, interbank deposits. Uh, next is e-wallet. E-wallet is PayPal usually. PayPal. So, PayPal, uh, may, many credit card users or, or bank uh, users here in the Philippines have PayPal accounts. So, using your email, you can transfer funds. So, uh, the good thing for uh, e-commerce business, it's free to register uh, for a PayPal account. Just need a bank account. So, ililink nyo yung bank nyo sa isang email uh, that is set na sa PayPal. Uh, magkakaroon kayo ng option to collect payments via that email. So, it's a secure option. Uh, though may charges around 5% per transaction. We also have payment options. Payment options are Gcash and Paymaya. Um, 
GCash is especially good in the Philippines because it's linked to Facebook Messenger. So kapag uh, uh, may time kayo, tignan nyo yung mga Facebook Messenger nyo, may option doon to pay. Pay via GCash. So the good thing in GCash or PayMaya is that free. Uh, just need to register your um, mobile number, have them uh, verify your identity for you to accept payments. So you need to just uh, send pictures of your uh, IDs and then some information. Ma 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 we verify na kayo ng, ng GCash for payments acceptance. Uh, the last three are the cash on delivery options. Cash on delivery options are usually offered by third party logistics, so especially here in Manila. So, may, may services silang ganun. Payment centers. Uh, payment centers uh, can accept payments for you, but you need to have uh, a service to enlist with. Uh, the popular in the, here in the Philippines is um, Dragon Pay. So, around 28,000 per setup. So, uh, it's a future, it's an option for the future in case you would uh, expand your business. And then last is crypto, uh, the Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, uh, in case you know this. But major limited lang yung merong ganitong account. So a uh, suggestion uh, for uh, starting entrepreneurs uh, pursuing online business it has to be deposits, mobile wallet, and then uh, the mobile payment. Gcash and PayMaya. You can use that three options without any, uh, without you shelling out money or expenses. Okay. Third option is logistics. We need to set up a logistics um, option for your business for you to enable deliveries. Now, in deliveries, uh, there are many, many um, services here in the Philippines. Uh, LBC, Togo, JRS, uh, Send, especially for uh, e-commerce business. And there are lots of new logistics players here in the Philippines. So just search the web. Uh, two criteria for you to, to, to select your um, logistics partner. First is uh, the rate, especially. Uh, siyempre, mas mura, mas maganda. Uh, second is uh, reliability. Uh, just search for the complaints uh, with that service. So if it's reliable, it's a good option. Uh, also, last, uh, you can see third-party logistics firm that offers cash on delivery. I know there are lots of small uh, couriers that allow cash on deliveries. Uh, However, that's only four major cities here here in the Philippines, uh, especially Manila. Um, the last pillar for operating an online business is digital marketing. So you need to have uh, at least uh, advertising, uh, kahit hindi po nagbabayad sa advertising um, options. Uh, you need to have presence in search engines, so Google. So, kailangan na search yung, yung website nyo or yung electronic store nyo sa Google. So, pag nag-search, for example, t-shirts, if you're selling t-shirts, lalabas kayo sa search engine. Social media, it's uh, imperative that you at least, ha at least uh, you need to have uh, a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and Twitter. Or, or at least Facebook page and Instagram. Um, the ingredient in digital marketing is you need to have creatives. Creatives meaning kailangan may video kayo doon, kailangan merong uh, pictures, a good graphics, and then uh, including in the, included in the creatives are the, the post, uh, the yung messages ng, ng, ng ads nyo. Uh, um, ang maganda pa pag sa marketing online is that you can you can uh, track the the engagement meaning the likes uh, who who reacted on on your post uh, how much clicks that it does 
does the ad gain something like that you can easily track those so the ingredient in digital marketing is you need to have an asset a digital asset for the creative a video and then a message and then pick the channels that you need to uh, post your creative the obvious are facebook page and then the instagram page and mga maraming users the philippines um however since uh facebook is a business entity na kailangan din kumita similar to google then um the visibility of uh, the post, so mag, yung parang mag post lang kayo sa page nyo and then uh, have it shared by your friends, your family. Yung reach na hindi ganun kala, kadami uh, because uh, uh, Facebook doesn't want uh, uh, cluttered news feeds for everyone. So hindi siya masyadong makikita ng marami. Uh, kapag mga free post sa Instagram at Facebook. Ngayon, uh, there is a paid option there. Uh, in in Facebook, it's called uh, Ads Manager. So you need to pay something sa Facebook uh, via your credit cards or via PayPal. Magabayad ka sa kanila and then they will, uh, Facebook would show your ads to specific people within an area, age group, ano yung likes nila, uh, ano yung uh, mga trabaho nila, you can specifically target those people. Though, may bayad siya. So, uh, I suggest, if you're starting a business, uh, try first the free uh, posts, but have a small budget uh, to target those specific people na gusto niyong pagbentahan ng, ng products or service no, no, sa online business. So, uh, that is the four uh, the four pillars of online business. Again, it's electronic store. Dun, an, ano yung uh, sa kayo magtitinda? Payments, paano nyo kukolektahin yung bayad ng customers? No? Uh, logistics is paano nyo ipapadala yung binili ng customers nyo papunta sa kanila. And lastly, paano kayo malalaman ng customers? Paano nila malalaman na may tinitinda ka or may online store ka? That is through digital marketing.